Everybody, please get your hands together for Mark Miller! Thanks guys, thanks. Yeah, I did come all the way up from Baltimore and uh, I really like that city. I don't know how familiar, how familiar you guys are with that city. Uh, I'm not that familiar with talking, apparently. Uh, but it's a great city, but whenever I try to explain to my friends and family why I like living there so much, I just feel like I'm, a, I'm a justifying an abusive relationship. I just end up saying things like, well, it's not as bad as it seems. You just don't know him like I do. Because, yeah, like The Wire was filmed there, took place there, and it's kind of scary. But uh, Hairspray, that's <laughs> yeah, a cute movie, right? <sighs> but uh, it's good to be away from Baltimore. Uh, my girlfriend has been very upset with me because of this one night stand that I had before I moved in with her. So uh, we gotta go to Ikea in a couple weeks and get a nightstand for her side of the bed. <laughs> She just doesn't like reaching over me for the water and the alarm clock. I don't understand. You know, it's a proven fact that going to Ikea with a significant other will age your relationship by five years. It's a true fact. You can go in on your first date and by the time you come out you got three kids. It's great. Because that's a five-year relationship where I'm from, where I'm originally from, in West Virginia. Uh, you have five kids. <laughs> I don't know. I, I messed up my math. Anyways. Um, also, so being from West Virginia, I get worried because of this mustache. Because, uh, like, around here, you guys probably just look at me and think, oh, he's some hipster from Brooklyn. Yeah, look at that. But in West Virginia, they look at me and they think, South's gonna rise again! <laughs> Woohoo! I have to be very careful. Uh, when they invite me to picnics, sometimes they turn out to be more like rallies. <laughs> you guys don't want it, and like, they're trying to be cool, like they're doing like raves now. You guys do not want to go to a KKK rave. <laughs> they suck, they don't have any black lights. <laughs> They don't have any color lights, they don't have any drums. There's no drums. And they're full of racists. I forgot the most important part of why it sucks, they're full of racists. So be very careful. I, that's kind of one of my, that's kind of a logical fear, but I have a lot of irrational fears. Like, um, like I might let the wrong cat in. Because, like, look, I'm not racist. I think we've established that. But uh, all, all black cats look the same to me. They just... I don't know. I also worry that I might catch, like, a disease. Like, I might catch, like, Ebola or something from a sweater. At Goodwill. Because, you know, the only, like, anything you buy at Goodwill, at, at least if you're a man, the only thing, anything you get at Goodwill, the guy that used to own it is dead now. <laughs> it's the only reason why men ever donate any clothes to Goodwill, is if you die, or if you hit that, like, awesome age where you're, like, 85 and all you need is a pair of pajamas, <laughs> and then you just, but then even still, you hang out in the nursing home and you're just like, hey, where's that sweater? <laughs> Prove to me it still exists, I want to see it. If you'd love me, you'd save it until I die. Anyways, um, I think it would really suck to be a uh, Hindu sentenced to back-to-back -back life sentences. Because I'm pretty sure that they would track you down. There, there would be a guy, he would come and be like, this caterpillar is under arrest. <laughs> Killed 28 people in a previous life. <laughs> Hope you like sticks and leaves. That's all you're gonna be playing with from here on out, dude. Well, that's all I have time for. Call my dial a joke line. Um, there's more jokes there. And all that stuff. Thanks, I'm Mark Miller. Thank you.